Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to the first episode of TBR Side Scroller. So, I'm really excited. Uh, hopefully you have watched the rules and intro video. Um, if you have not, please, uh, the link is down below. Um, it is also the last, second to last video that I have just re released on Saturday. Um, but in the video I kind of go over the rules of the game and how to like choose your TBR, what prompts to, to use, and also just kind of going more in detail about the campaign and like the leveling of the characters. Um, I'm not going to go over my level. I actually did play this month kind of as a t uh, test. I know it might be a little unfair. I'm, I'm sorry. But I did want to do like a like a test month for myself um, to make sure that the game works and that, you know, it, it just, it works well. Plus I was doing a, a big readathon with whatever a thon, so I really wanted to kind of just like I don't know. I, I felt like it was fair for me to start a little early just to make sure everything works. Um, my fiance actually is also playing the game and he just chose his TBR for the month. So you'll probably be seeing his reading as well in future vlogs. But without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started with the game. So I don't know what my level is yet. I haven't added up all my experience for the month. I'll be doing that in my wrap up video. But I know for a fact that I was able to complete my TBR from last month, so there will be no penalties for this month. I am currently reading the last two books on my TBR as of the day that I'm recording, so I will be finished with that before the end of June. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll a, D4, or a D20 to determine if I'm going to read five books or if I have to add on to that five. I rolled a two, which is... Fine, that's, that's perfect. So a two means that I only have to read five books this month. So I'm actually really happy about that because I have a really, you know, I can't even, I was gonna, I was gonna show you all the books that I really, really want to read this, this next month. And it, it's just too big. It's too big of a pile for me to hold up. But just take my word for it. There's a lot of books I really want to try and fit into this TBR. So I'm really happy that it's five because hopefully I'll be able to fit them in. And if not, that gives me room to be able to add on more books. Before we start with the actual TBR, um, I did want to tell you any um, book club books that I really need to read that hopefully I can fit into the five books that I um, have to roll for the TBR, as well as a new thing that I wanted to start, which is picking a recommendation from, from you. So uh, over, over the last month or two, um, between comments from my videos and just like my friends and family recommending books to me, I have put them all together in little slips of paper and I've added them into this little shell tea mug. And every month I'm going to pick one of the books out of this and I'm going to also put that onto my TBR as well. So I'll, I'll go ahead and pick that in just a second. But the other thing I want to say were the book club books that I have to read this month. So the one is With Teeth by Kristen Arnett. This book is part of a local bookstore that's in, that's in my area. They do a book club, they actually just started this. This book's uh, due on, actually I think it might have been due at the end of this month, but I didn't get a chance to it, so I'm gonna try and get this done in July. Might even be in the middle of July that it's due, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm gonna double check it. But it's a book club book that I really wanna make sure I try and fit into my TBR, so I'm gonna make sure that I finish this. The other book, I don't have it physically with me yet, although it is being shipped to me, is We Go On Forever by Sarah Gobet. It's part of the Burned Books Club pick, for the months of July and August, uh, run by Maddie over at Books Browsing Blog and Spoops over at Spoopy Hall. I'll leave their links down below to uh, check up, check on their channels and also to see the live shows for uh, for all the books that they've done so far this year in the Burns Book Club. So that's that's the choice for July and August. I'm not going to add that into my TBR unless it fits a prompt uh, for this month, but I'm going to try and get it done this month. If not, I'll do it in August. All right, so now it's time to pick a pick a book. Okay, so the book recommended by you guys is Miss One by Brandon Sanderson. It is a book that was recommended to me several times by my friend Lewis uh, over in uh, back in college. He's been really wanting me to read this series. It's a trilogy, although I think there are more books in the um, than just the base trilogy for this universe. Uh, it's Brandon Sanderson. I've been really wanting to read books from him. I do have the first book. Yeah, so I do have the first book. Um, it's the only one that I have so far. I don't have the whole trilogy, although I am going to be buying that soon. But Mistborn is a, um, the description says, Once a hero rose to save the world, a young man with a mysterious heritage courageously challenged the darkness that strangled the land. He failed. For a thousand years since, the world has been a wasteland of ash and mist ruled by the immortal emperor known as the Lord Ruler. Every revolt has failed miserably. 
Yet somehow hope survives, hope that dares to dream of ending the empire and even the lord ruler himself. A new kind of uprising is being planned, one built around the ultimate caper, one that depends on the cunning of a brilliant criminal mastermind and the determination of an unlikely heroine, a street urchin who must learn to master Al Alamancy, the power of a misborn. So I, I'm really excited. That I'm actually, this was one of the books I was hoping to get to this next month, so I'm glad that this was recommended to me by Lewis, so thank you. Okay, without further ado, now I'm going to roll the prompts for each of the five books that I have to read for my TBR. Okay, so here's the prompt for book number one. Okay, so I rolled a 78, and a 78's prompt is animal. So I have to find a book that has an animal on the cover or has a, an animal as part of the story. The book that I chose to fit the prompt of Animal is The Butterfly Lampshade by Amy Bender. I bought this quite a few months back. It is early on in my TBR cart, and it's one that I've, I've heard a lot of really good things about from a few different people. Um, the description says, On the night her single mother is taken to a mental hospital after a psychotic episode, eight-year-old Francie is staying with her babysitter, waiting to take the train to Los Angeles to go live with her aunt and uncle. Next to the couch on which she's sleeping, there is a lovely lamp adorned with butterflies. When she wakes, Francie spies a dead butterfly, exactly matching the one on the lamp, floating in a glass of water. She drinks it before the babysitter can see. Twenty years later, Francie is compelled to make sense of that moment and two other incidents. Her discovery of a de desiccated beetle from a school paper and a bouquet of dried roses from certain curtains, or from some curtains. Her recall is exact. She is sure these things happened. But despite her certainty, she wrestles with the hold of these memories maintained over her and what they say about her own place in the world. As Francie conjures her past and reduces her engagement with the, wor with the world to a bare minimum, she begins to question her relationship to reality. The scenes set in Francie's past glow with the intensity of childhood perception, the way that physical objects can take on an otherworldly power. The questions for Francie are, what do these events signify, and does this power survive childhood? So yeah, I'm really excited to add this to my TBR. It's about 280 pages, um, close to 300, so it's not too long. And um, I'm actually really excited that this is part of it. In case you didn't realize, there's butterflies incorporated in this. There's like dissected roach, uh, cockroaches or whatever, butterflies on the cover, so animal. Okay, roll number two for book number two. Okay, so the uh, roll is 48, and the prompt for 48 is book to pick. So for Booktuber Pick, it is a book that a Booktuber has recommended or that has been rolled in a TBR previously. Okay, so I've had a lot of Booktubers and other people that I've seen on YouTube recommend this book more than once. It's something that I've been wanting to buy for a very long time, and it is on one of my more anticipated books pile, and it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I showed you in the book haul from New York City that I bought this in New York City, and I'm so excited to actually read this book finally. Uh, the description says, Reclusive Hollywood icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life. But when she chooses unknown magazine reporter Monique Grant to write her story, no one is more astounded than Monique herself. Determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career, Monique listens in fascination, from making her way to Los Angeles in the 1950s to leaving show business in the 1980s. And of course, the seven husbands along the way. Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and a great forbidden love. But as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own in tragic and irreversible ways. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read this. I wanted to read this before I read uh, Malibu Rising, which I got in, a, in the Book of the Month pick from, from last month, or from June. And so I'm really excited that this is actually on my TBR. Okay, rule three for book number three. 89. Okay, so the prompt for 89 is even page number. So for that prompt, I have to pick a book that ends on an even page number, and that doesn't mean the story ends, it means whatever page number is left on the page it has to be that book. Okay, so I was able to pick another book that was on my, you know, really hopeful shelf, the shelf that has a bunch of books that I really want to try and get to next month, and it is A Gathering of Shadows by V. Schwab. It is book two of the, um, I don't know what this series is called. I think it's like the Magic Ser Magic Trilogy or something like that. I read the first book last month, which you'll see in my June wrap-up, and I I'm just really excited about this. Um, it follows the story of uh, these two people, one from Red London, which is a, a London full of magic, and one from Grey London, which is um, very much like our world where magic is very rare and very hard to find and no one really knows about it or really cares to understand it. Kel and Delilah. 
So Kel is from Red London, Delilah is from Grey London. Um, and their, their paths intersect in the last story where they had to try and bring over this little shard, like rock shard of like this powerful magic that comes from Black London. And Black London then was sealed off from the rest of the world because the magic became overwhelming, overbearing, and it basically s snuffed out the world. And so all the doorways between all the different Londons were shut from Black London to try and contain the power. Although some of that power leaked out in the form of the stone. And it was up to Kel and Delilah to try and bring it back to Black London so that it wouldn't uh, tamper the rest of the world. Although a lot happens because of that. Um, it was an amazing book. I was really happy to be able to have read it last month. And I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to read book two this month. All right, roll four for book four. 27. Okay, so the, pro the prompt for roll 27 is page number. That's funny that there's two page number-esque uh, prompts that I'm doing in a row. So for page number, I have to do a random number generator between 100 and 1000. And I have to pick a book that is close to that range. I'm not going to try and like search this library for a specific, like a book with a specific number of pages to that. It, within 50 pages of it, I'm, I'm going to say. Okay, so... 897. Mm, no. What book is 900 pages? Okay, so... Mm, the closest book that I have to 900 pages is... It's actually technically a trilogy, but it is The Throne of e Emincar by Joshua Palmatier. Um... <laughs> It has the trilogy in it, and it is 840 pages, 830 pages. So it's the closest thing that I have to 900 pages, unfortunately. It is the closest thing I have, so I'm going to read this, I guess. So the description says, One young woman holds the fate of the city in her hands. If she fails, it will spell her ruin and the end of her world. Twice in the history of Amakar, the white fire has had swept over the land. Over a thousand years ago, it came from the east, covering the entire city, touching everyone, leaving them unburned, but bringing madness in its wake, a madness that only ended with the death of ruling mistress. Six years ago, the fire came again, and Amakar has been spiraling into ruin ever since. The city's only hope rests in the hands of a young woman, Varys, who learned the art of survival as an orphan in the slums, thanks in part to her gift for seeing the truth. Her ability is recognized by a guardsman of the skewed throne. Varys is trained in the ways of the assassin, but when an assignment puts her outside the law, she is forced to flee deep in the heart of Amakar, and it is there that Varys will face her hardest challenges and greatest opportunities. It is there that she will either find her destiny or meet her doom. So, wasn't expecting to be reading this, but um, here we go. <laughs> Very floppy. I guess that's a plus. Okay, and then the final roll, roll five for book number five. 59. Roll 59 is the prompt author initial. So that means that there has to be an initial in the author's name. Okay, so the book that I'm going to choose for this prompt is First Become Ashes by K.M. Spara. Uh, again, this is a book that I bought when I was at New York City, and I'm really excited to actually read this one. The description says, For 30 years, the Fellowship of the Anointed isolated its members, conditioning them to believe that pain is power, that magic is suffering, that the world beyond fence has fallen prey to monsters. But when their leader is arrested, all her teachings come into question. Those touched by the fellowship face a choice. How will they adjust to the world they were taught to fear? And how will they relate to the cult's last crusader, Lark? For Cain, survival means rejecting the magic he and his lover suffered for. For Darren, the cult collapse is an opportunity to prove they are worth as much as their anointed brother. For Calvin, Lark is the alluring embodiment of the magic he's been seeking his entire life. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that one. So, here are all the books that I have to read in the month of July. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm really excited to continue playing this game and look forward to seeing the first campaign episode coming up hopefully in the next week or so. And let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in any of the books that I'm reading this month, if uh, what books you're gonna be reading th this coming month. And if you're playing the game as well, please let me know what books you got for your TBR, how many books you had to read, what kind of prompts you had to use. Um, I'm really curious just, just for my own curiosity's sake on what, what you are doing at home as well. So if you like this video, please like it, comment down below any of the questions that I asked. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you.